All right, all right, all right. So what do we got today? Moonside Neon Lighthouse. These have been brought to my attention. This website, super fancy looking. Gotta hand it to them. They've done a good job with the website. All right, let's check these things out. Like, is there any video? The photos of them here. Interesting. So it looks like, okay, here we go. Let's check this out. Let's see what they got going on. They got, they got 4K, what's going on? 1080, 60, all right. Vibrant lighting possibilities. They look cool. They look, they almost look like, they're like the, you know, light bars, but they're like lava lamps. So that's really cool. Most dynamic smart lamp. All right. Yeah, no, I'm definitely curious to check these things out. So we got some app control. It's cool how they have like, it does, looks like there's pixels going on in there or something like that. Looks like they have another, they have another smaller lamp that almost looks like the Goviara, but. That's crazy, cause I, you know what, I haven't seen a, like a light bar or a light stick yet that does, you know, goes full 360 in the tube. What's included in the box, lighthouse, controller. Okay, so it looks like the bases are extra. Kind of what our packaging uh, looks like. All right, well, you know, let's check him out. Oh, let's get ready to rumble! Welcome everybody to the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination. <laughs> okay, we're just trying out, trying out different intros, you know, still finding my groove. Okay. <laughs> I want I want to try to spin it. <laughs> Gonna break these things. Moon. We have the lighthouse from Moonside Design. Now we have the products here in front of us. Let's unbox them, let's see what they're all about. Because they look pretty cool from what we were seeing online together. Wow. It has some weight to it. Ladies and gentlemen, I was not expecting that. This actually feels super high quality in my hand. You know, it does not feel plasticky. In fact, it's got this metal base to it. You know how I'm very fond of a sturdy base. Is that all that's in the box? Well, we need some power and stuff. All right, I'm just gonna open it from the other side. Nope, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, power brick. USB-C to USB-C cable. They also give you a USB-A to USB-C. Oh, wait, where's this adapter? I didn't see any adapter. A smart controller, where's the smart controller? <laughs> Still in the box. There is a smart controller that looks like that. Smart controller, power brick. Let's get the other one going too, actually. Bump out both of these bad boys. Let me get my knife. What is my knife? Okay, there we go. Probably best to open it from that end. Uh, when you're unboxing. Yeah, much easier that time. So what's really cool about these is you can see all the way around full 360 light coverage. But look at that, one of them has a gray base and the other one has like a bluish teal base. So that's kind of interesting. First plug in, that's what we're looking at. Very cool, it's already alternating colors. Wow, this thing looks awesome. Straight out of the box. Straight up, straight out of the box. Computer, turn off key light. Get a little bit more pop to it by shutting off our key light here. The power goes into the bottom of the controller where the kind of outward arrows are. There we go. So if it's not turning on, you probably just have your cables crossed in the base. Okay, so I have both of these actually dimmed as far as they can go to kind of let the camera pick up the colors better instead of just having them be all white and blowing out. 
But the controllers can actually cycle through the effects. Top of these, these little plus minuses is the brightness control. The bottom looks like it's cycling through the effects. So we, it looks like we have the effects synced up now. So a lot of really pretty looking effects on these things. I don't know what the names for all these are. And then there's a middle button. I don't know what the middle, oh, the middle button's just on off, I guess. Pretty straightforward, pretty elegant, pretty cool that the light is 360 surrounding these kind of light sticks, these neon light sticks, kind of like the light bars in the background. We have now mini versions that are kind of like a modern day lava lamp of sorts, if you think about it, of course, without any lava or water. So less fire hazard, all the same fun. Let's see what the app has to say. Okay, so I've taken the time to really jump into the app. I have them on, as you can see, in the background behind me. They're actually quite customizable. I was rather surprised at how good they look and how good these presets are. A lot of fun stuff, so let's, let's dig in here. To power them on, you have to individually select the device. As you can see, I just powered both on. At first, this confused me. It's like, how do you get into the light and control it more? You actually hold the light and it'll go into a sub menu. And this is where you can really fine tune the light and all of its settings. Okay, so if we click this little paint board here, we can go ahead and we can set the color to any color we'd like. Um, this dial in the middle kind of sets the saturation of it or the lightness maybe. These are sort of presets for just the white focusing being the brightest and then bedtime being, you know, more of that soft yellow light. And really the presets is where this light really does shine because it does come with a ton of preloaded presets. So these are the themes that are inbuilt into the light that you can sort of, you know, shift through on the controller and within the app. But you can actually add more themes by clicking this little plus here. And this is where there's like a ton of themes. Let's go through a few of these extra themes. Pink ball, dancing beat, Greenland. Kind of is sort of like a lava lamp in a sense, how it takes a while to sort of see these patterns flourish. My moon, you can see I have that one. If you want to add that one into the presets, just hit the little heart on the side and then it'll be sort of added into your available presets to cycle through. Christmas blend, blending rainbow. Oh, whoa, Twinkle Star, how psychedelic. Green fire, green fire is pretty cool. It's like a, a flame, a green flame. Blue lava, very cool, Mac Mac. This preset's called Late OJ. I like this is a cool one. Whoa. Shining Beat. Interesting. Ghost Fire. Cool Sky. Well, I like Cool Sky. I'm gonna put a heart there. This one's called Rainbow Fire. Well, I like Rainbow Fire. It's not what you think it would be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add that. Volcano Ice Cream. <laughs> Twinkle Christmas. I've already added this one, Vibe Beat. I really do like this preset. Maybe one of my favorites, Glowing Lava. Glowing Lava is pretty cool. Christmas Snow. Petrol. Ooh, I like Petrol. I've actually added this one to the favorites. Some of the more masculine choices. Magic Fire. Anyway, so you can see there's a ton of presets that you can add and it looks like there's different themes as well for the music modes. So let me actually set the second one here in music mode. Well, let's check out some more themes. So, upbeat, seeking forest. Ha! Hey! Supercharge. Party spot. Summer jump. That's pretty cool. Okay, so you can see even within the music reactivity modes, you can set different color presets. What's dancing red? Okay, let's let's actually play some music. So 
you can really see that it's it's very reactive to sort of the volume changes. You are also able to connect them to Wi-Fi. If you click manage devices and you click into one, you can actually set these up through Wi-Fi to be controlled through Wi-Fi. So once you've configured that, you can go back and then you should be able to control these remotely. And this should also open up a bunch of smart home capabilities and remote operation. I'm gonna set one of these to Vibe Beat. And I'm gonna set the other one to Glowing Lava. Cool. So the app is fairly simple. It works great through Bluetooth from my initial tests. It does have a ton of like presets similar to the Gobi products, but I really do like the aesthetic of these lighthouses, these sort of like RGB sticks that really do mimic sort of like lava lamps in the way they're able to adjust their own patterns. It's really neat. I gotta say, I do hand it to them. I think they'd make an absolute great piece of decor if you get a bunch of them and sort of strategically uh, put them into different spots like shelves or whatever to enhance things beside monitors. I would suggest buying, they have those little add-on bases. It's like a little foot you can put the uh, sort of like lighthouses into. I don't have those. They will stand on their own, but I think it would be good to get the bases if you really did want to kind of keep these on display. I was actually quite surprised with how great they do look in person to the eye. The effect is quite pronounced and it does work well. They've done a really good job at diffusing the LEDs and making it sort of detailed. So big thumbs up from me there. I do wish they made these in four foot variations because I would love to replace uh, the sort of like giant LED bars I have in the background of my video with like these things because these are awesome in the way they work. Curious to hear what you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I gotta admit, they do look great. They do look excellent. I really do dig them. These are the Moonside Lighthouses. This is the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination. See you in the next one.